I was going to say good morning, but you may be watching this in the evening. Good day, everyone. Hello. Welcome to Quilt Club for July, second last one. Weird. It is July 2022. Yeah, so we're we're happy to see you all as usual. I'm going to start with the dazzling thing behind us. I okay. Think. So it. this came in today. So we are super excited about this quilt. Um, Honestly, we weren't 100% sure how it would turn out. We this is first. using the new Tulip Pink collection that's called Tiny Beasts. Awesome, awesome fabrics that have uh, little animal motifs worked into the prints. Um, so we've got little hedgehogs, we've got deer, raccoons, foxes, bears, squirrels, all sorts of different fun creatures, but they're all worked into the pattern. Um, this is a pattern called Celtic Knot. I'll bring this up close. So there is the pattern. Try not to get the light on there. Um, Celtic Knot by Amanda Murphy. Um, it's just fabulous. This was Diane's suggestion and it works absolutely perfectly with all these wonderful fabrics from uh, Tiny Beasts. Um, so the kits are available starting today. Uh, these are not going to be 20% off because like we said, this came in today. Brilliant. So this is Thank hot off the press. The kits are $149.99, which is a great um, price. The size is 57.5 by 74.5. So the kits and the patterns are both available in store and on the website. So we've got the whole line of Tiny Beast, the Tulip Pink Tiny yes, Beast, as well awesome. as a, a lot of pre-cuts too. So if you're interested in Tula in any way, we've got you covered. This is one of her best collections, I think. I just Oh, I think they're all pretty yeah, good. Yeah, they're all pretty good. Yeah. I, I personally love this one. This is a, a quilt that I would really awesome. like to make. Okay, so we're gonna jump right into our products. We have some awesome stuff this month. This one, oh, I'm gonna have to open it. Darn, I'll have to take it with me. <laughs> so this is called a Wonder Grip and Thimble. And honestly, I don't use a thimble. We saw this um, during one of the um, schoolhouse events that we attended online. And I thought it looked really, really good, but because I don't use a thimble, I wasn't sure. So we got um, Sally, Sally Borland, to try it out, and she loved it. And if it's good enough for Sally Borland, it's good enough for it's me. A, it's a very neat concept. It, it looks really bizarre. So as I said, it's a Wonder Grip and Thimble. It's a two-in-one, and it's by Taylor Seville. I'll show you what it looks like here. So what it is, is this is the thimble part, and this goes on your thumb, and it's got a little bit of traction there, some little um, silicone beads, I guess you would You're call it, or bumps, sorry. So the thimble goes on your finger and this grippy goes on your thumb. And so when you're sewing, you can use the thimble part. It's hard plastic on the end. But then when you go to grip your needle, you've got a little extra bit to grip it with. So as we said, we had Sally try it out and she absolutely loved it. Yeah. Um, it is $17.99 by Taylor Seville. And it, it's a one size fits most. So it doesn't matter what size of thimble you usually use. It's got, a, I guess it would be called a fluted yes. edge there. So you can see that it expands and it fits tiny fingers and bigger fingers. So this is fantastic. It's pretty cool. And as I said, it's recommended by Sally Borland. So Cause so often it is really hard, oh, it's to, hard just to get grab that, needle that needle through. Absolutely. So, so interesting. Um, I have a really useful product. This is not exciting, but it, it's wonderfully useful. Oh, this, this, is, is good. this is called Terrific Tape. This is from Gypsy Quilter. So it comes in a package like this. Um, it's a one inch wide, which is very useful. Um, you can just slide this out of here. And what this is, is it's a clear cling tape. So it's not sticky. It is, you can see there. It, it's, a, it's a cling, so it clings to itself, but it doesn't adhere to other things. It doesn't adhere to your hands or your table or anything else. So this is great for corralling all sorts of products Everything under the sun. that you want to corral. So the first thing that comes to mind is unruly spools of thread. I'm gonna pull my table up here. There you go. <laughs> Tray of props. Okay, so we've got two super unruly spools of thread here. And if I just grab, I just wind that back on there and grab myself my little bit of tape. So like I say, it clings to itself. So if you wrap it around the spool here and then it clings to itself, that is gonna hold all your tail ends in super neatly so that when they're in your 
sewing box, you don't have threads going absolutely everywhere. And I won't take the time to wrap all of these because the principle's the same every time. You wrap this around and it's gonna hold the tail ends in loose. So it's also great for when you buy um, stabilizers, steam -a seam anything like that that we sell to you in a length, but then you wanna keep under control. You can just wrap a piece of tape, terrific tape around there. And that will... So you can use it basically anywhere you use an elastic, but it's not gonna get hard like an elastic and break mm -hmm. when you stick use that. It and that's gonna hold it nice and neat in your sewing cabinet. Also great for when you're going on a picnic and you've got all those plastic utensils or regular utensils, you can just wrap a piece of tape around those and your, it's gonna um, hold them nice and neat in your cutlery your drawer. It's gonna keep forks, them all. Anything you've got stuff that you just wanna keep corralled in any drawer, really. If you're an embroiderer, all your embroidery hoops come in two sections. When you put them together, unless you crank it down really tight, those can easily slip apart, but you can take a piece of terrific tape, wind it around the edge of your embroidery hoops, and that's gonna hold your embroidery hoops together. So you've always got the set together, and this is probably the best of all extension cords <laughs> so you can just take them neaten them up and then wrap a piece of terrific tape around the whole thing and it's going to hold it nice and neat for so you any cords charging cords. charging cords phone cords anything like that i'd say just put a piece of tape around that and you're good to go so it's a wonderful, wonderful product, and they are reusable. Um, you know, as long as they don't get super soiled, they're gonna keep on clinging. It's $15.99, and for that, you are getting uh, 50 feet of tape. Ooh. So you've got lots and lots of uh, mileage on there. All right, so That's that great. is the terrific tape. The funny story about terrific tape is years ago, when we first bought the store, which is years ago now, uh, that story we will never forget. There was something called Wonder Tape at the time. Very exact similar. same product, yeah. different color. I think it didn't have a blue hint to a different company. Anyways, and it was a good product then. So we wanted to get, I think we wanted to get 20 of them. But I ordered 20 boxes of 10. I think she is didn't what it was. realize that yes, the order was ordering boxes, yes. not individuals. I thought I was ordering 20 rolls and we got 20 boxes. So we had Wonder Tape for years. We were giving <laughs> that stuff yeah. away. Yeah. And it's taken a while for us to agree to try some Wonder Tape again or some yeah, terrific but it, tape. But it is an awesome It is awesome really product. good to really yeah. is, but we saturated our market <laughs> for a while. Anyways, the Wonder Tape slash terrific tape is back. Okay, the next product I have, what should I do? This is one of my new favorite things. This is so cool. For those of you who make jelly roll rugs or anything of that nature, you can make jelly roll hot pads, jelly roll coasters, jelly roll, there's another jelly roll bags, you know the, yeah. the bags that you can do with two and a half inch strips, it doesn't have to be jelly roll. It's very difficult. The idea behind a jelly roll product is you take a two and a half inch strip and you have to fold it into the center which as you can see already is difficult because you've got your batting and your fabric. And then once you get it centered, you have to fold it again. Then you've got to get this under your sewing machine and you have to keep folding as you go, folding as you go twice, not just once, but twice. So it's a bit of, of a painstaking thing. I was thinking I was going to make a jelly roll rug and I was using Wonder Clips and they were great, yeah. but you still have to stop and clip and stop and clip. So the wonderful people at Clover have come up with this tool. I will do it here. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it. So what you do is you start off with your batting and your fabric and you do fold it into the center and you start a little ways there, get it going for a little ways. And then you take the first part of the, it's a three part, fabric part tube tool. turner, sorry, fabric Can tube I maker. I don't really think so, no. Okay. And then you slide that in there. So you've got that started. Once you've got it looking good, you take the second part and you slide it into there and that holds your, your center fold. Pull that along a little ways. So the next step, as I mentioned, is you have to fold this again. So you take the second part of the fabric tube maker. You fold this how it's supposed to be for your sewing. I'm not sure how well you can see this. And you slide it into the second part. Take the, I guess that's the third part. Take the fourth part and I think you can see, pop it in there. So cool. It is so cool. 
And then you just slide this along, slide this along, and you have it done. Oh, 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 oh. is right. So then you just put this under your sewing machine as you're sewing, slide this a bit, slide up. this a bit, slide this a bit, and so, and it makes it so much easier. That is easier. so neat. It takes it from being a project you might kind of want to do, just because it's fun, to something you absolutely want to do, because it's really fun. That yeah, it's so quick. Very so this cool. is the end result. I'm sure you can figure it out, but you can see that one is sewn together. And I did this without the tube maker, and it was painstaking because, as I said, you fold, stop, so fold, fold, stop, so. so now, when I made my Jelly Roll rug, this particular product was not available. No kidding. <laughs> yeah. So this thing so is just it sure fantastic. Makes it a whole lot easier. Uh, yeah. So it is great for doing Jelly Roll rugs, bags, coasters, mats, anything you want very to do. Neat, very neat. It is $29.99, less you 20%, and it is worth every single penny. That is the Jelly, nope, sorry, I keep calling it that. It's a fabric tube maker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. Okay, I'm going to show you the first of a number of June Taylor products mm -hmm. that we have this month. Um, June Taylor is a huge company. She don't know it if there's is. somebody called June Taylor, but oh, anyway, there, there might be. Um, so a lot of their products are um, a quilt as you go on a printed batting. So just going to open this up and show you the batting in here. So this particular one is a clothing coverall, and I'll show you the finished product in a second. But in the package, you get a whole lot of different things. You get an illustration of what the product is you get your, your pattern for putting it together, and you get a piece of batting that is pre-printed with the uh, quilt as you go lines. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut strips according to the instructions in the pattern, place strip number one on your batting, that's just gonna go uh, wrong side down against the batting, and then strip number two, you'll be placing on top of strip number one, stitching along the line, and flipping it out, giving it a press, and uh, building your product cool as, as you go. So super, super easy, and I mean, excellent for beginners or seasoned veterans, either or, because um, just, all your instructions are there. So the clothing coverall, um, I mean, some of you may have a laugh about this, but then those of us who have somebody in, in long-term care or an older adult or a husband who can't <laughs> eat, um, these are awesome. So this is... They call it a coverall? It's called a clothing coverall. It's, it's basically an adult bib. And, I mean, we're all going to be there someday. We hope, because the alternative is no no good. Um, yeah, this I'm too close, but this is a great adult bib. My mom's in long-term care, and honestly, every... Put it up on the table, maybe. Here we go. Um, every adult wears a coverall for their meals, and they need to. But there are so many ladies and gentlemen who are still cognizant enough that they want something pretty or... Nice. on a theme like a golf or fishing or dogs mm -hmm. or whatever that is meaningful to their life and makes them feel better about having to wear a clothing coverall. Um, so this is done using the blush collection that we just got in, which is beautiful. And I know a whole lot of the ladies in there would just oh, love them, yeah. um, it's such, pretty. such a pretty coverall instead of the terry telling that they have. Mm -hmm. um, so these are uh, basically the kits complete except for the fabric that you need to get. You've got everything in there that you need. You just have to add a, a little Velcro or button um, fastener and then you're good to go. So the um, one for the coverall is $24.99 and uh, that's enough for one coverall. But it's a, it's a great project. It is. And it's just a little bit different. It's not your regular quarter inch piecing, quarter oh, inch so, piecing, it's just a, a So a quick project. and easy to make, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so speaking of June Taylor, I'm going to talk about the um, project bags that Cynthia discovered these on one of our um, mm -hmm. vendor markets or whatever it was we were at. This makes two project bags. I'm not sure how well, again, that you can see that, but we've got the bags made up here. So in the kit comes the vinyl that you need and this fantastic zipper. It is the easiest zipper in the world to install, and we love the name of it. It's called the Zippity Doo Done. So this is the Zippity Doo Done zipper. 
The project bags have a block on the back. There's two sizes. This is the smaller one, and this is the larger one. And the zipper, as I said, is included. You sew the zipper on top. You're not fiddling around with putting it in. It just kind of goes on top. You could also put some decorative stitching there if you wanted to. The small one is 16 inches. The bigger one is 18 inches. Excellent. So, so these size for are good for projects. If you've got a project, you could fit an entire quilt in this bag. I mean, not you could. Yeah, you could. You, <laughs> you totally could. could. And probably the rulers you need to make it as well. You can fit quilt blocks. You could put your threads. You could put your tools. You could put... I mean, if you want to use it for clothing or makeup or anything like that, it would work as well. You can use it to carry your quilt club blocks in. You could <laughs> use it for your quilt club blocks. So it comes with everything you, sorry, I shouldn't say everything you need. It comes with the zippity do done, and it comes with the vinyl that you need. I'm not sure show the colors? if I orchestrated that, sure, or if I showed you well enough. It's vinyl. I don't think I clearly made that obvious. Clearly. So you can uh -huh. clearly, haha, <laughs> you can clearly see through the vinyl. And you get to play around with your fabric. We used it tulip pink, of course, because we're all about that right now with our new tiny Oh, that's tiny one of the beast. tiny beast Exactly. Yeah. You can see some of the fabrics better. So these are just great. And again, it's another fun project. It's not your regular just sitting and piecing project. And they make fantastic gifts, too. They're not just for quilting, I don't think. They're for oh, you can use everyday for, stuff. Yeah. yeah, you can put papers in there, like, you know, scrapbooking stuff, any sort of crafting that anybody does, you could use it for that. So There's it comes a bunch in of colors. Four colors. We've got the white zippity doo done. We've got a it's red. red. And it's, a, and it's a nice red. Oh, if you flip them around, you can see the other. Yeah, there's one in red. There's yeah. one done in red. See? We also have a gray zippity doo done. Okay, they're showing the their gray project, and there's the gray zipper. And we have a black zippity doo done. And these are great for kids, too, if they want to take their little toys and their coloring books and that sort of thing. And we also have, a, they call this camel, I call it, you know, totally beige. tan beige. And I get to say one more time, zippity doo done. <laughs> <laughs> I love saying that. So these sets, these project bags cost. Oh, yes, you want to know that. $44.99 for, for two projects. So that bags. gives you two vinyls and a length of zipper that will do two bags and a whole bunch of fun and a great gift or a great gift for yourself. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Um, we have a new book. I love new books. Books are great. We're doing a lot of traveling up to the camera t this time. So here is our new book. It is called The Big Book of Quick to Finish Quilts. These are actually awesome projects. I'm going to show you the back cover because you can see a little bit better. These are by just a myriad of um, well-known designers. We've got Kim Deal, uh, Doug Lacko, Corey Yoder, me and my sister, um, Zen Sheik, what's her name? Brigitte, Brigitte uh, Heitland from uh, Zen Sheik, Lisa Alexander. There's all sorts of um, great designers in here. So the, the book is, is uh, done in sections. So the first section, there's a, another can't show you every page, but we can show you the conglomerate. So um, there's uh, the first section is full size quilts. Uh, the next section is it's called top to table, and it's a number of different runners and table toppers. Then there's throw down, and that's quite a large group of uh, throw size quilts. Small but mighty is little uh, wall. Um, smaller projects that are, are really cute, hanging around, wall hangings, and then they've got extra elements, which is pillows and a gardener's apron in the back. But there's just some great projects in here, um, all the instructions you need. Um, but the, when you buy a book, you want to get a book that you like many of the quilts because you don't want to be put investing. And it, there's just one after another that are absolutely awesome. Usually when we get a new book in or when we're thinking about getting more than one of a new book, we um, give them to the staff to have a yep. look at. And this was this one that I really think pretty. every single staff member said it was a it good was book. A, a great book. It, so so. Um, well we'll, we'll have them out, obviously, when you come in to get your, your block. And... Um, you can have a flip through because I obviously can't show you all the quilts in here, but it, it really is a lovely, lovely book. That's a great book. Yeah. And how much so, is the great book, Cynthia? The great book is forty three ninety nine, unless you're twenty percent, which so, is about three um, quilt oh gosh, patterns. I'm, I'm trying to think how many. If you were to buy a single quilt pattern, that's got to be these you've days. You've got to have. 
$15.99. Sorry. 54 quilts. 54 different patterns Ooh. in there. Well and worth it. There's just quilt after quilt after quilt after quilt that are just yeah. awesome. So all in one place too. You're not yeah. digging around yeah. looking for really, really, really nice book. Cool. Okay, the last product we have to show you is it's kind of two things. This is similar to the bowl covers that we had a couple months ago. This is pre-cut batting and insulating material for a casserole dish hot pack. And it's by the Gypsy Company. They've got a lot of stuff going on these days. So you can see here, this comes with two pieces of batting and um, the insulated, oh, two insulated, I can't tell. Insulated, the silver stuff that keeps things warm. And it also has a pattern to make this casserole um, hot pad. So you can put your casserole dish or your hot stuff from the oven onto the table. You can also take this pre-cut batting and insulating material, as they're calling it, and make this button-up casserole carrier. So this is a perfect time of year. We're all going around visiting, barbecuing, that sort of thing. And you can make yourself one of these little gems. So I'll, I'll turn it sideways. You shouldn't do this with a casserole, but you can see <laughs> it's got um, elastic to keep it closed. And then inside you've got your casserole dish. Don't have the food in there, unfortunately. And then you button it up and carry it off. And because it's got the insulating material in it, it will stay hot forever and ever. It, um, the one thing we do suggest, if you're gonna mm -hmm. make this, we think the handles should be a little longer. They just seem a bit short to me. If they're to, a bit to carry longer. it comfortably? Yes, to carry it comfortably. Um, Diane also said if she was carrying a casserole, she's probably gonna carry it by the hand, like the handles by of the, the casserole or underneath right. of but it. Still. But it does give you a free hand if you do wanna carry your casserole. If you're doing something cold, a salad or whatever, it, it's not gonna be hot, but it'll keep it cold too. So it is a fantastic item to have. And again, it's fun to make. It's a great gift to give. And after you button it all up, you're off to the races. And speaking, or the picnic. Yeah, the picnic. Yes. Speaking it's of picnics cute. and recipes and whatnot, we got oh, the, the recipes. best recipes from you yeah. guys. Yeah. Liz has spent, what is she, about 10 or 15 hours now? 20 so far. Liz is so up to far. 20 <laughs> hours. She's home convalescing. She had her hip replaced, so we thought we'd give her a little... Not the make work project, <laughs> but a little project. Uh, something that she could fill some of her time with. Yes, exactly. So she's been typing like a fool, putting them all in. So we're going to have them ready. I don't even think she's halfway through the recipes yet. I'm not yeah, sure. But we'll have that yes. for so, you soon. And yeah, it's some, some really, recipes. really awesome collection. It's it, really good. That, that was such a great idea. Yeah. And it was um, a highlight of most of my days, tiptoeing down to the recipes to see. Checking them. through them Just all. before lunch when you're getting hungry and you go through them. And everything looks really, really good. So thanks for bringing those all yeah. in. We're going to get them all together and typed up and we're going to email them to you guys. If you do want them printed out, I think it's gonna be about 200 plus pages if I'm not, no, yeah, it'll be. It will be. It'll be a lot of lot of recipes. So we might, you know, there might be $5 or something just to cover the paper and the ink, but we'll see when the time comes, but they will definitely be available for all of you. Yeah, it was, as I said, it was just an awesome That's idea. Great. I'm so yeah. glad Valerie it suggested it. Our this month idea yeah. is not quite as awesome. It's good. Well, it's, Those, it's, we'll it's never Canada top the Day recipes. in July, and yes. uh, th th we, so we think about all the things that we love about Canada. Canada. So we want to hear what you love best about being Canadian. So all you have to do when you come in is let whoever you're showing your block to, let them know what you love about being Canadian. And if you don't happen to be Canadian, because there's a few people from That's other countries, true. tell us what you most love about being Living. in Canada. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, and I'm to remind oh, you. Oh, yes, you're to remind me. I have, dun, 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 dun. yeah, drum roll, please. I have forgotten this for two months in a row. And I okay. remembered at breakfast this morning. I sent Shannon a text saying, <laughs> remind me to say. I have got to say, well, we, a huge, huge, thank you. huge, huge thank you for your incredibly generous donations to the Red Cross uh, for the efforts in the Ukraine. The conflict continues, unfortunately, so the need is still there. Um, thanks to all of you, we were able to donate $2,600 to the Red Cross. That's incredible. So it's absolutely wow. huge, and we can't thank you enough, and uh, we have set that in. Uh, months ago <laughs> and so uh, again our apologies for just uh, for forgetting to share that really really wonderful piece of news so thank you, so thank you all and That's we it. hope that you are enjoying Your the summer, summer and uh, maybe getting out a little bit and seeing family and friends and uh, staying safe always all right thanks everybody thanks, guys. We'll bye see bye ya.